Core Data provides a set of classes that work together to manage your app's data layer. Together, these classes are known as the Core Data Stack. The four parts of the stack are one or more managed object contexts, the managed object model, the persistent store coordinator, and the persistent container. Let's look at each of these in turn. First, your app will have one or more managed object contexts, which are instances of NS managed object context. This is where we will work with notebooks and notes. These are managed objects, that is, the subclass NS managed object. The context is a sort of scratch pad where we can create and manipulate them temporarily. When we're done, we can either save the changes to the permanent store or roll them back. It's important to note that the changes that we make in the context aren't automatically saved to disk and don't automatically update the UI. Also note that working with managed objects is different from working with regular objects. You never instantiate a managed object directly. You always associate or register it with a context so that the context can manage any changes and communicate them to the store on request. Contexts and their managed objects are the part of the stack that you'll interact with most. Next up is the managed object model or NS managed object model. The managed object model describes your data structure and relationships. You'll usually define it using the data model editor in Xcode, just as we did in the last lesson. That model gets saved as an XCDataModelD file in your project and compiled down to an MOMD file that loads into your app at runtime. Other parts of the stack will ask the model for information they need to do their work. Which brings us to the third part of the stack, the Persistent Store Coordinator, or NS Persistent Store Coordinator. The coordinator connects to one or more persistent stores and uses the model to mediate between those stores and the context. That is, it translates stored records into managed objects and managed objects into records. The coordinator speaks the language of the underlying store, such as SQL, so that we don't have to. Last but not least, we have the persistent container or NS persistent container. It does two things. It helps us set up the rest of the stack and provides useful variables and methods for working with contexts. It was added in iOS 10 to reduce the amount of boilerplate required to set up the stack. And that's the core data stack. These four classes work together to manage and persist the data layer. So let's set them up in Mooskin.